Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, just for all of those asking still, yes, Microsoft is working on a fix for the famous uh, failed update on the uh, Windows 10 operating system. If you remember, um, on the January updates, uh, there was an update that failed for a lot of people. Um, that didn't have enough space on the recovery partition. And the update failed is KB5034441, which I see here uh, was released on uh, in January 14th. So this was, of course, a problem with uh, the um, recovery, not the recovery partition size, not having enough space for the update to apply. So it's still a problem for some of you. I've shown you in a video. If you want to hide it, you can hide it in a video because it will be eventually fixed with something else. Microsoft has issued, once again, the nonsense of people trying to do things. So they are telling, first of all, everybody, oh, please, um, you know, change the partition size. Like, yeah, everybody knows that. And the other thing, the issue now is if you want to run a, Power, a PowerShell script, they have the PowerShell script that they've updated that is available for this, which is extend the Windows RE partition. And this is the code you have to copy in PowerShell and apply it after restart and so on and create a path. And once again, they, you know, it's as if they think that everybody's an expert. But there will be a official update that will come through um, with the, um, it, it's going to kind of create this automatically. They are working on it. I don't know how long it's going to take, but uh, they are working on it. They're still uh, mentioned it uh, with the patch Tuesday updates that failed for some Windows 10 users in the previous video I talked about. Um, and they are they are saying that there will be an update pushed uh, eventually that will actually fix all of it. So it will probably create its own recovery partition size. It will probably resize whatever you have if you have one. And if it will probably apply the update after that. So, um, you know, be patient. Um, like I said, you can hide it. My, I got the video where I show you where to hide it. Um, and I think that's probably uh, the best thing. It won't be in your face, always there now if you hide it. And eventually it'll be fixed. Uh, once again, you know, it shows the disconnect between Microsoft and the standard regular users of Windows. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.